right, so here we got a modern kitchen. We put in an 18 foot backsplash window. We had to hold the whole roof up by pouring concrete above it to hold it up. It was pretty vast. But uh, all this is, you know, the new modern cabinetry. And there's no wood in here, which is kind of ironic, but everything is steel. Even the face is steel, the sides are steel. Now this is a wood insert that holds, you know, your different utensils and things, but uh, even all this is all the new high technology. So it has a 50 amp service for electric induction cooktop. So that would shut and then uh, you don't notice anything, but this would be your trash can. And then this would be your dishwasher and you just knock twice and she'll come open and then there you have it. You kidding? Get your dishes on. <laughs> Make it fun to wash dishes. <laughs> I love all the new technology, you know, like everything, you know, they used to have one where you touch it and it would turn on. Well, you don't right. even have to touch it anymore. You just stick your hand in there. That way it's touchless and you don't have to clean your faucet or your countertop. You just, hello, goodbye. <laughs> That's crazy. And my favorite. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know you love this because, you know, you got to have a, a nice little wine place to store your wine here. So, What's your favorite bottle of wine? Old world, oh, I got a really great bottle of wine here. Right here. This is a Wellington resident that actually owns a uh, vineyard in Napa Valley. And he lives here in Wellington. And he gave me these for my daughter's birthday for us to celebrate. What is it called? I'm sorry. The Vineyard House. That is top shelf. Thanks. My favorite wine is Chateau Lafitte Rothschild if you really want to go there, but <laughs> I don't have any bottles of that in here. <laughs> we drink all of them now. <laughs> and then, of course, you can't have too much refrigeration or storage. I don't even think I can capture it. So, I <laughs> so we got 72 inches. Most people are about 36 for a standard. You got 72 here and it's just a refrigerator heaven. Uh, it's got food in it obviously. It's but... the most well-organized fridge ever. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell dude? <laughs> and of course do, you gotta do you, have... Do you face everything yourself? Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> um, chandeliers. I, I, this comes in chrome so I found the company. And I took it apart and dipped it over at Palm Beach Plating in actual 24 karat gold. So it's the only gold one in the world. Unless somebody else dipped, it, dipped the one and did that. But it comes in chrome. You see the frame? This is an elevator. It's pneumatic. They actually make these in Miami. So it uses air like your uh, bank teller. It goes up and down. No, it does not. Yeah, yeah. It just sucks air and goes up and down. <laughs> And uh, that's just, you know, you got to have a, it's also wheelchair accessible, so you can have grandma go upstairs now. Nice. A lot of times grandma and grandpa don't like going up and down stairs, now they can do it easy. And here I have a lounge, and uh, just put a few, uh, you know, stuff like memorabilia around the walls and whatnot, but uh, got to have a little lounge. And then my favorite is Raphael here. Can How's the movie? Ninja Turtles, Go Ninja Go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes at your shows you have that song, right? Yeah. <laughs> Calabunga! <laughs> Who don't love the turtles? We all grew up to it. Absolutely. <laughs> and then here I've got just a few things like memorabilia and whatnot and some dolls and different things that they've made throughout the years. The movie, That's My Boy. Oh, we have a, a new movie coming out, actually, with Adam Sandler uh, and them and Happy Madison. It's called The Wrong Missy. Oh, really? That's another, that coming out. Another little plug. I don't have the actual date, but it's coming out in the next few months. No worries. Yeah. Now, this is all from France. We pulled a stretch ceiling. Are you kidding me? It makes yeah. you feel like you're outdoors. And uh, it's actually heated the room up to 200 degrees, and it was sagging, right? And then you connect it, and it shrinks. It's like a, I don't know, a Shrink vinyl frame. shrinking thing that's from France. I don't know. Like a shrinky dink. But you can put any image you want on it. And he, you know, closed the room off and had this big fire thing in here and heated this room up. He was sweating, man. <laughs> I walked in and go, oh my God. And this thing just went and it made it tight. And we got a million LED lights. So it makes it feel like you're outside. All this was done in Palm Beach plating. This comes in chrome. We dipped it all in 24 karat gold. So we have that Palm Beach feel, you know? Mm -hmm. That's that extra little detail that people love. And another detail, which is crazy, is uh, the throne. Yes, the toilet, check this out. <laughs> this thing has a Bluetooth and a remote control. And you can do whatever you want, and it knows if you're male, and it knows if you're female. 
So you just walk in basically and you can just kind of, hey, I'm here. How are you? <laughs> and then it'll know, like if you, you see that little blue light, yeah. you just put your foot on that, it'll go up and down. You can wow. flush right here. It'll start playing music on you. It's really funny. I mean, like, it's an experience. I don't know what to tell you. So you can listen to Sunny 1079 and... <laughs> Most people say, why? And then I'm the kind of guy that says, why not? <laughs> so all this is custom made real Onyx. We mitered it in here and we backlit it because Onyx is transparent. And we put the gold touch around the sinks and all the custom stuff in here. But I think, you know, it's more of a decorative thing in here. And then the closet, which is something pretty cool to look at. You'd never think, but uh, it's inspired by Ferrari. Wow. So this was all made in Czech Republic. We've got a 200, you know, shoe rack for the ladies or whoever. It's just kind of in showcase mode right now. It's not uh, really functioning. You have a much. washer and dryer in your closet? The reason I put washer and dryers upstairs is because it's one of the most senseless things there is, is to carry your laundry down the stairs, yes. do it all down there, and then carry it back upstairs and put it back in the closet where you left from. Absolutely. Why not just do it in here and hang it back on the shelf? It's much easier. <laughs> totally. Fold it up here, whatever. So everything lights up. You've got, yeah, you've got your, your washer and dryer nicely hidden, you know, in here. So, you know, you wouldn't think that closets would be so decorative, but they are. <laughs> And another thing I did for the uh, for the ladies as well. Oh yeah, these are the vanilla ice word to your mother's shoes. And this one's the uh, my daughter gave me for my birthday. I collect sneakers. And then here, most people don't have windows in a closet because it's just awkward. And it takes up wall space. So we started the window at 8 feet and went to 10. Or 11, I'm sorry. And then... Um, so we put in drapes in here so you can let the sun shine in because of the women. The women like to put their makeup on and get dressed with natural light. They don't like red That's lights. right. Am I right? Yes, Confirmation. Right. <laughs> ask any lady. They, they, they can never have too much storage for shoes. And they like to put their makeup and get dressed with natural light. Now you know, fellas. There now you, you know. There's some brownie points for you. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> That's a good Even this right here I found in Canada, this glass, and it has... Uh, the process of melting the, the actual glass has no iron in it, so it made the most transparent. Yeah, it's so clear. And it's clear with no top rail, no picket rails, so it, you look straight through it and it's transparent. You get to see what's on the other side instead of looking at the back side of a railing. And you're kind of super known for your pool, blue pools, right? I do these custom designed pools myself uh, with the help of a couple friends, but I, I mixed this uh, Jim Bright color. Nobody can figure out how I get this color on these pools, and it makes it look like the Caribbean blue, like that turquoise water in the Bahamas. And what I do is I mix four different colors together to get this color. And I do dozens of pools, and everybody wants this same color because of just how pretty it looks here in Florida. It, it kind of simulates that blue Caribbean Bahama, you know, Turkey I want to be there type feel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the one cool thing about this is this is a helicopter hanger here. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. You see that big door? Yeah. It comes up like this. So it's a hanger door. And the helicopter lands right there. Those are those bricks that you see up on the concrete there. Those are lights. So you can land at night. Oh. And then it sits right inside there and then comes right out. <laughs> and the reason the helicopter uh, the hangar is here is the same reason I have this artificial turf here. Because if you have actual grass and the helicopter lands, it'll blow all the clippings in the pool. Sure. So to keep the pool clean and everything, and it makes it like a park, and you don't even have to mow it, we put all this artificial turf in here, which is really I'll, cool. I'll tell Johan, take Chopper 5 and land it. <laughs> <laughs> and over there, I have a zip line. If you see that zip line, that wire? Shut up. 500 foot zip line going all the way out to the back. A lot of fun. Look at my safety. If you look at the walls, yeah. it's Elvis Presley. <laughs> it's like Graceland in there. Yeah. Rafi, there's your blue truck. Rafi, there's your see. truck. I just put the new interior in. Open it up. I am a giant. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I know you love it. I love it. You don't care about the cars, huh? What do you think, Ralphie? I like it. I want it. <laughs>